Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we're gonna to be making another pair of wood earrings and this time we are going to use a piece of paper that I printed out. So on Pinterest, there's a lot of free papers you could print out and this is one of them and I love this. I thought this was so cool that I really want to bring this to you guys. So I wanna get some of the black and the color together because this is just amazing how they did this and i'm just going to figure out exactly what section i want for this piece so i kind of want to get a nice black and white look plus color of the succulents and you just got to kind of decide how exactly you want it i really like this and then you got to make a decision do you want your pieces to match if they do you can easily just cut out exactly the same picture um i don't care if mine match i like having things different so i'm not going to worry about that i'm going to kind of line up see exactly how i want to get some of this pink and then i want this white and maybe i'll do the blue on this side so the um the black and white actually match up so i think that'll be a good idea so let's try that and see how that works out i'm going to get my mod podge this is the shape that i chose today but you could go much bigger on your wood earrings if you want um, i just chose to do this one just because i really thought the design was pretty cool so I'm just gonna put my Mod Podge right on. Try not to be too messy. Sometimes I work a little too fast. I'm gonna put that right on. And then I wanna kinda take my blue and my black right here and I want to kind of line that up right in the middle of my piece and then hopefully I'll get a little of everything and you can see what as you rub this you can see how much of the black and white and how much of the color is going to show so on this one I'm going to kind of line it up a little Let's go sideways on this one. And I wanna kinda get closer to the top. And the nice thing is you can move this around if you need to. And I'm gonna do the back side as well. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll do the back side the same way. This way, I could do opposite of the earring, so I'll do um, the other side. I'll show you that in a minute. So put your Mod Podge on now on the top and make sure you get on the sides as well. You can see it's starting to bleed a bit. So try not to rub over it too much. Otherwise you'll have some bleeding. Let that completely dry. My pieces are now dry, so I will trim these up quick. Look how beautiful, that is really cool. I love the black and white with color. It looks really, really neat. So there is our one side. And then take something pointy, something very sharp, and just poke right through your hole. All right. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the opposite side, and I have my flowers on this side, so now I'm gonna do my flowers on the other side. 
So flowers on this side. So they'll go similar to that. So. And then keep your scraps because this right here will make a beautiful um, design. So don't throw away your paper. So I got a blue and now I need another pink. Uh, where's my over oh, right here? So we'll do this pink right here. Uh, actually, let's get that one right there. And I'm going to want to make sure. And I am gonna trim off this white just to make sure I do not accidentally use that portion. All right, so now this one, just kind of feel around to see exactly. Okay, that's exactly how I would like it. Rub that on, push down well. Do the same thing here. Oh, I need the, oh, okay. Okay, that just fit nicely. All right, so now remember your ink may bleed, so we're not gonna wanna go over this too many times. So get a pretty nice amount on there and just brush over a few times. You don't want it to bleed and smear the ink onto your piece. You see how that's bleeding? So I'm going to go over very lightly. Let me just going to wipe my brush off. I'm going to get my top here and there. I'm going to leave that alone now and let that completely dry. All right, so now these are dried. I'm going to trim these up as well. If you don't have a sharp pair of scissors, uh, X-Acto knife will work as well. So like here, I got very little um, paper. So I will take my cutting board. And grab my exacto knife and I have a new blade in here as well this is a sharp blade and then I will just take it and trim the edge sometimes it's easier than scissors depending on how tight the piece is so there we go and I'll show you just take it and the wood is so great because you just follow along and it's Kind of difficult to mess up when you have that nice secure um, guide so beautiful see
Okay, so I'm going to put my earrings just like this because I like the um, blue and pink together. I could have done blue and blue and pink and pink and then flip them over, but I really like the look of blue and pink together. So that's how I'm going to do mine. So you choose how you want to do yours. But I'm going to get my tool again. I'm going to poke my hole through. And you can do one more coat of Mod Podge and call it a day if you want, but I like to always add extra. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Mod Podge again. I'm gonna put a little bit on here. Let me clean this off. And I want to make sure that my little pieces stick. So I just put a very, very thin coat on. And you can do resin on this first, but I am not going to do resin first because I want to make sure that my pieces are going to stay exactly where I put them. So I just have my little tiny pieces and you'll see, I'm just going to put these little pieces on just to add a little bit of shine so that Mod Podge will kind of hold everything down into place until I resin over everything. If your Mod Podge starts to dry, just put a little bit more on. You can just tap it. And you see, it kind of gives it that little mosaic look. And that is going to just shine as you wear that. And I'm staying inside my little petals. I'm going to put one more right at the top here. So I'll do the same thing on my blue. So you'll see, I'm just kind of following the colors. So if it's green in the area, I'm putting green down. If it's blue in the area, I'm putting blue. Sometimes it's like a mix of both. So I'm trying to do a mix of both here. So I'm happy with that as well. So I'm going to leave all that right there because I will be using more for the other side. But the first thing I want to do is make sure these are completely dry and then I will put resin on. So this one is almost, it's a little tiny bit still, I can feel moist. So I'm going to let that completely dry. But while it is drying, I would like to do my edging and I'm going to do it in black. So I have my acrylic marker and I will take this and just do my edge and make it look nice and clean and professional. Look how much nicer it looks when you have a finished edge. Just beautiful. Oops. All right, so this is done. I can feel that that's dry. So I'm gonna take my tile here. I will get my resin. And I am not gonna put a thick coat on. I'm just going to do a thin coat. So a paintbrush will come in handy better than using my stick that I usually use. Oops. So I'll just take my paintbrush 
and then I will go over very lightly And here you'll be able to see, once you do this part, you'll be able to see if you want to add more of the paper. And I think I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more. So I'll clean up my tweezers here. And just pop those on. Just make sure you're staying on your flower. Just get a little bit of resin on my tip. I'll be able to pick that up. Okay, I'm gonna put this under my UV light. Let me do my lighter quick, make sure no bubbles are in there. And I'll put that under my light. And then you can see, I'm not gonna add any more to this one. I love it just the way it is. It has that nice mosaic look. So let me just pop my bubbles. Go over your whole piece. You see there's little bubbles right there. All right, now I'll put that under my UV light. All right, so this one is done. Look how beautiful that is. Adding that little bit really just brought so much sparkle to this piece, just beautiful. I hope you guys can really see how that shimmers. Just gorgeous. And I love how it gives it that mosaic look. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. And then um, when I'm finished with both of them, I'll come back and show you the end results. All right, guys, my pieces are cured and look how beautiful they came out. You could really see how they um, reflect with the light. At least I hope you could really see that. Both sides are complete and look absolutely stunning. So the last thing that we got to do is put our jump rings on and our fish hooks. And then I'm going to take my fish hooks. I chose black because I thought it would look perfect with the black and white. And I am going to turn my um, loop at the bottom here. You do not have to do that. If you have an extra little jump ring you want to add on, you could do that to make sure it lays properly. And then you just close your jump ring and there is your completed earring so very very simple open put this on take the bottom circle turn your piece make sure the part that goes in your ear faces the back of the earring and then close your jump ring And then you have two beautiful earrings. And like I said, you could do both pink, one on each side, or you could do blue. I want to go the opposite because I really like to be different on those. So very, very gorgeous. I really hope you guys enjoy creating these pieces with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.